of the geosynthetic clay liner. Yeah, so where, where will they go? These will go on top of the actual geosynthetic clay liner that's on the biopar. Today we learned just how many people are pitching in and wanting to um, help out with the preserving of Antarctica and uh, all the amazing different jobs that you can get down there and the amazing possibilities. It was through the Antarctic Studies class with Calvin at first and then through Book and Trust, through doing some you know, good work and some um, with the researchers and everything through Calvin, I was able to get a sponsor um, from Bookend to fly over. I think it's going to be a lot more than I'm expecting, so the mountains and glaciers and stuff, I think it'll be quite spectacular. Well, firstly it was at primary school, I think. We did a very short course during primary school and I was kind of interested in that straight away. And from there it's just kind of grown. When I found out that Calvin was doing a course, I was really interested in doing that straight away. So I jumped at that opportunity and it's kind of just grown in the science aspect I think I'm really quite interested in. I won a free trip with the council. I was recommended to my school and gave an application of interest. I then had a 15 minute presentation that I delivered to a selection panel. And then after that, it was followed up by a formal interview. And out of seven finalists, I was the lucky one chosen to win a free ticket. I was focusing on educating other people about the importance of Antarctica. If we te teach everybody how important Antarctica is, that's the way to protect it. I'm not quite sure what to expect, like I think that we're going over Mount Erebus and Mount Terra, places like that, and just to see the enormity of Antarctica and just, you know, seeing it in pictures is one thing, but actually being there, you know, looking onto it through the plane window would just be another thing altogether. I'm expecting to see the amazing beauty of Antarctica and all of its amazing scenery. Uh, hopefully get to see some good ice sculptures and yeah, just the amazing whiteness. Oh, it's been amazing. We've seen ice vortexes, ice falls. We've seen glaciers that have been grounded on the shore because they've reached the bottom of the water. And oh, it's just been absolutely terrific seeing how all of Antarctica is not just what the pictures make it. It's this thing that's bigger than all of us. I mean, we're hearing things over the PA system, you know, describing what we're seeing. So we've passed, you know, mountains, the Trans-Antarctic mountain range in particular, and just the things that you're seeing is absolutely unbelievable. I just want to thank the Kingborough Council and Calvin Christian School and everyone else that's helped me. It's absolutely amazing. It's just amazing and um, we've learnt so much already about, um, we've seen ice vortexes, crevasses, and really you don't, you learn about it in books, but until you really see it with your own eyes, you, you have no idea. The air is so clear, you can just see from, from like really really far and the mountains it's like you can just reach out and touch them. Oh it's just been absolutely incredible um, we've been able to see so much uh, they've been saying that it's been one of the clearest years they've ever had um, yeah and also wow the mountains they were they're so big and so many and just all together that it's completely wow. Yeah. I think it can teach us a lot about what we're doing to the earth through um, global warming that um, sometimes we do push it a bit and hopefully we can learn from what's happening with the um, global warming and things like that that um, we need to kind of cut back a bit on, on what we're doing to the world. <laughs>
The future for Antarctica is what we decide to make it. It can either be really good and benefit from our taking care of the Earth properly, or it can slowly melt away and not be there for later generations. I came to this place thinking that it would be absolutely terrific, and I was wrong. It was even more than that. It's the most amazing thing I'll ever do.